improve your T-spine and your shoulder mobility to avoid injury in the overhead presses, make your technique better, even in the overhead squats and the snatches. Enjoy the video! Hi guys, welcome to Bob Body. my name is Dieter and today I'm gonna give you a couple of reasons why you should fix your thoracic spine and your shoulder mobility and the reason why is not to get injured in all the overhead work, for instance the overhead presses and overhead squat snatch. To get that we have to talk first about the joint by joint approach that was invented, well developed by Michael Boyle. Alright, so the joint, joint by joint approach better said states that every joint alternately needs stability mobility stability mobility and if you have a dysfunction in stability or mobility in one joint you'll create problems in the next joint all right so what does it say the lumbar spine needs stability if you don't have enough mobility in the thoracic spine where you would need the mobility of course by not being able to extend especially what you're gonna have in an overhead press for instance is that you're gonna have to compensate by hyperextending in the lower back which will create a problem now all that sounds a little bit abstract if you don't do it with an example now according to the joint by joint approach thoracic spine needs mobility shoulder blades need stability and the shoulder needs mobility now a lot of people especially guys that have tight pecs for instance they're standing a little bit rounded yeah so their shoulders are forwardly rotated and their upper back is round now what's going to happen when they want to press they don't have the mobility in the shoulders and in the upper back to be able to press straight up so they're going to press forward but with a lot of weight what would happen is they would fall front and they would lose the weight so they're going to compensate by hyper extending in the lower back to be able to keep the bar over the feet and not fall over or lose the weight now if you look at my lower back there that's the perfect scenario to get a herniated lumbar spine disc all right so how should you fix that you should fix your upper back mobility so your chest can go up and your shoulder mobility so you can push the bar straight up you can get your head through and still have that stable straight lumbar spine so that it's stable lumbar spine needs stability and you can't get injured now as i said there is several exercises that you can use to fix this problem that mobility problem in the thoracic spine and in the shoulder and in former videos we already stated that static stretching is that it doesn't really do the job it's not going to give you a lifelong mobility improvement it's all about dynamic stretching where you use an external load where the uh, muscle has to work under eccentric force so that means while the muscle is working in an eccentric way while it's being extended through the weight it still has to be hold itself tight not to let go and lose form so that's where you get the real significant adaptation in the muscle and where you're gonna grow the muscle a little longer and that's gonna give you more mobility so the first way to do that an easy exercise would be to put yourself in front of a mat ball the shoulder blades so the space in between the shoulder blades or a little bit lower on the ball so that's your thoracic spine now what you want to do is you want to open up your thoracic spine what i'm doing now is i'm opening up my thoracic spine but this is still pretty passive all right so what am i going to do i'm going to use a weight so that all my muscles of my anterior chain my chest and my shoulder muscles have to work under an eccentric movement while they're holding the load so that they later on are going to repair they're going to do the repair process and make a significant significant length change in the muscle fiber in the sarcomeres all right so to make sure that i'm not working my lumbar spine i'm not bending my lumbar spine because this one has to be stable i push the belly button in also i want to look in a 45 degree up all the time because when i would look back i would just hyper extend my lower back again so i keep on watching there what i do from there is i try to breathe in open up my rib cage with extended arms and bring the weight with extended arms as far as i can behind my head but really slowly 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 down till you feel a big pull and there you hold isometrically 
then you come back, that can be faster, and you go slowly, slowly, slowly down again. My belly button stays pushed in, my bum stays on the ground, I keep on looking forward, and I hold it in the stretch position with an active isometric hold where my muscle is still working at the end range of its flexibility. The most dynamic stretch you can have. Now, guys, as I said, Next Monday, we're gonna see another awesome exercise to increase your thoracic spine and especially your shoulder mobility. The next one is gonna focus more on shoulder mobility while this one is really also triggering the thoracic spine mobility. Um, but for now, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.